Today, we're going to be proving the Pythagorean theorem with physics, or more specifically, the relationship between velocity and kinetic energy. Let's say we have a ball centered at the origin in the xy plane. This ball is now going to be moving in the positive y direction with a constant speed of a. The speed would be a. Now, suddenly, while still keeping its constant a velocity in the y direction, it will now also move in the x direction with a speed of b. Now remember, the um, speed of a um, still exists, and remember in kinematics, the x component of the velocity vector and the y component of the velocity vector do not interact with each other. So we still need to draw the a speed it still experiences. And to an observer, this would look like a right angled triangle where the red line describes the path of the ball. And this path will have a combined velocity of c. Now each component of a, b, and c has a velocity, but they also have a kinetic energy. If you forgot kinetic energy, sorry, getting ahead of it. Kinetic energy is equal to one half of the mass of the object times the velocity squared. Now, the kinetic energy of the A component would be equal to 1 over 2m, the velocity is a squared. The kinetic energy of the b component would be equal to 1 over 2m, velocity is b squared. And the kinetic energy of the combined c component would be equal to the combined kinetic energy, which is just 1 over 2m, c squared. That's pretty straightforward. And since kinetic energy is a scalar, we can just add these all up, add uh, the kinetic energy of A and the kinetic energy of B, and that will give us the kinetic energy of C. So in short, 1 over 2, the kinetic energy of A, plus the kinetic energy of B, will equal the kinetic energy of C. M C squared. And all we have to do is cancel out 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, then cancel out the mass, the mass, the mass, because it's the, going to be the same particle or ball throughout this entire transformation. And that is left, that leaves us with A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And that is how we prove the Pythagorean theorem with relating um, kinetic energy with velocity. Thank you.